Hello everyone, it's Mark here again. I'm the founder of the Arts and Culture Network and this is the best bit of the job for me. It's where I get to catch up with some of our full members. So I'm delighted that Ralph Klepper has, has joined me today. Ralph, thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome. Um, now you're in Brisbane, aren't you, after a rather traumatic house move? Yeah, traumatic is exaggerated, of course. It's a lot to do with a child and with a wife that has to work every day. So I, I, it was a, uh, let's call it as a project, and I managed that project. So it was not different than doing an orchestra tour with 120 orchestra members. Which I know you've done before, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we did before, yes. Which leads us ni nicely on to an introduction about the work that you're doing. So thank you for being one of our, our full members, our longest standing full members, I should add. Which yeah, is yeah, it's and, my pleasure to be that, yes. Uh, uh, and thank you for attending so many of our networking events. Um, we're over 100,000 strong now around the world across six Perfect. groups. So it's it's great. I don't get to meet everybody like this, so this is a real pleasure. Thank you. For the benefit of those um, who haven't met you, um, perhaps you'd like to introduce yourself briefly and uh, and tell us uh, the work about the work that you do. Well, my name is Ralph Klepper. I'm actually a musician like you were. So uh, I uh, used to play the violin in the first uh, section, a violin section in the Munich Radio Orchestra until May last year, uh, 2023. And I've chosen to follow my family to Australia. My wife got a workplace here in early childhood teaching. Um, and what I did there in Germany was not only playing the violin in the orchestra, but I was on behalf of the orchestra musicians, member of the orchestra board for 20 years. And I was used to do, um, do negotiations about contracts, tours, uh, worked on implementing, organizing, uh, or event uh, creation, uh, designs, and things like this. And um, so, Mark, that was my battery. Um, hopefully, it will it will hold. So, um, and then um, um, I was used to organize concerts for a uh, quartet. I uh, founded for an, a chamber orchestra. I uh, founded. And I was used to do more than just playing the violin. And when I found, when I learned that my wife wishes to come to Australia um, um, on her professional basis to do, to finish her study here, do her master in early childhood, I thought about what can I do with the knowledge I, um, uh, I've got working with the Bayerische Rundfunk, with the Bavarian Orchestra, um, and. I've got the idea, what if you do some cultural exchange between Australia and Germany, Munich and Brisbane? And so I started to, uh, I started to study an MBA, both in Kempton, Bavaria, um, at an English um, uh, business school who was associated or is with a QUT, Graduate School of Business here in Brisbane. So I was uh, a student in Brisbane as well. And finally, we, we, we got to be here. But before we, we arrived, you know, uh, Mark, uh, COVID uh, hit us, all of us. And uh, so all my plans to do um, uh, changes or um, cultural change, we, uh, change with uh, Australia um, went south. Uh, so um, orchestra tours, uh, everything was uh, um, stopped. And I thought, uh, what can you do best? I find out. I found out that Brisbane will be the next uh, Olympic city, and beca uh, because Munich was 60 years ago, so it will be 60 years um, uh, when Brisbane in 32 will be the Olympic city. I thought, what about doing a festival like the Brisbane German Week here uh, in Munich to bring uh, to bring Australian artists, musicians, uh, painters, but also students, IT students, um, and why not politics uh, and uh, business uh, together? Um, so I, I worked on um, organizing and implementing a festival in Munich called Australia Week. And um, it was, um, uh, we took a break this year, 23 was no, no festival, 22 was the first one, but it uh, will be a 24th 
um, uh, edition of it. And uh, we are about to set up an association named Australia Week with a lot of people who will work together with me to do this. And being on the other side of the world now, um, I'm, I try to find sponsors, but interested artists and people too. So our network is very helpful in this regard too. Um, to find to to bring people at the table to see to the table to see what can we do even with UK and Germany but Australia and Germany to bring us together on a basis of peace of culture of music of understanding so that's the that's the the basics of it. That sounds that's great, Ralph. Um, I know we're going to do a matchmaking session at some point as well, so I'll be looking for. Well, those. good. Uh, we'll we'll check out those. Um, those German members as well, and it's especially in, in Munich. That's great, thank you. So wherever this video appears, um, there'll be a profile about Ralph and contact details and a little bit more information. But in the meantime, thank you very much for that introduction. Now you're we're welcome. Gonna, you, now we're gonna have some fun. Um, okay. This Let's is go. where this is where we bring out the anecdotes and the surprises, because what I'm going to do with your permission is I'm going to create your your perfect cultural year fictitious cultural year uh, from the answers to 10 questions. Uh, they're very easy questions. So, and we'll paint this picture of, of uh, Ralph in his perfect year. So, okay. are you ready? Uh, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to start by asking you if you have a favorite building. Uh, yeah, uh, my favorite building is the Frauenkirche in Munich. It's, um, um, you would say the church of Her, Her Lady, you would say, yes. Lady Mary, that's my favorite favorite building. It has two towers, and we call it Zwiebeltürme, so they uh, are shaped like onions on top. So okay. that's my favorite building. Love it. Now, I I don't know it, but I assume that it's in the center of, of Munich. And, center of Munich, exactly, yes. Yeah, and there might be a cafe uh, nearby that you could be sitting at, perhaps. So I want you to imagine... <laughs> that you're sitting at a cafe in the summer in Munich, looking at the Frankirche um, ah, well, and um, admiring its beauty because that's your favorite building. So there you are, the sun's shining. It's okay. It's 6 p.m. Um, and it's warm and it's lovely and you're sitting there. Now on your table, I want you to imagine there's a book and it's your favorite book and you've just been reading it. What would that book be? Um, you, you would not believe it, but it's uh, in German. It's called uh, Der Medicus. Um, I, I do not. It's Noah Gordon's adventure of a, a British uh, young guy who comes to uh, Isfahan to study medicine uh, with uh, with um, the most famous uh, teacher of his time. So that's uh, one of my favorite books. Um, I do not know the English uh, English title. I'm sorry of that. So they are medicus. It's called in Germany. I'm sorry for that. No, um, yeah. the doctor, perhaps. I don't know, or the physician. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, that's great. Okay, so there you are. You've been rereading the book again in the sunshine in front of the church. <laughs> Excuse me. And then on your left is a drink. It could be any drink you like. Uh, alcoholic or non-alcoholic um, but it's it's your favorite drink in those circumstances what drink is sitting on that table next to you well I'm sorry to disappoint you it will not be a glass of beer but a glass of red wine excellent okay there you are that's the perfect situation now you're quite pleased with yourself because you've just heard that you've been an interview you did with a rather well-funded family foundation has resulted in you, it being confirmed that you're going to be paid to visit another country for a year to study its culture, its, uh, its art, its culture, its heritage. You're going to be immersed in the culture of another country and it's all expenses paid, a nice fee. All they want you to do is to come back and attend a meeting and tell Give them, give them a presentation of what you found because they're a research foundation. 
Um, it's first class all the way. You'll have an apartment in the city that you go to and you can choose any country to do this in. Um, where would you choose to go? Of course, I would choose Australia like I have chosen to be here and to live here. That would be Australia and that has reasons. Okay. Which city would you opt for? Well, uh, if it's about what you said to learn about culture, it would not be a certain city for the whole period, but mm -hmm. uh, the the outback as well as northern uh, Queensland as Sydney, Melbourne and Perth too. But I'm living in Brisbane and I would uh, that would be my headquarters, let's say. Okay. And from so here I would start everything, yes. Okay, so it, that's fine. It's un interesting that you're already there, but so... Okay, so that's great. So they're going to pay you. They're going to fund the whole thing for a whole year. And okay, I um, love that. <laughs> yeah, it'd be it'll be great. And they're going to sort out everything at home. Everything's fine. So if you have to travel, it's first class all the way. Um, you get a personal assistant, um, and you have an apartment in each of the cities that you visit um, as your base. And you're going to do a comparative landscape analysis of the arts and culture scene across Australia. Empty. Tempting, Lovely. yes, isn't it tempting? Um, yes. Now, so you're uh, you, you you're given an office to as your base in Brisbane. I love a beautiful yes. office with a personal assistant, and it's all very nice. And there's a on your first day, you go in, and on your on the desk is an an envelope from the Family Foundation, and there is a condition that they're applying to this project. So. They want to study you while you're studying Australia and they want you to limit your musical intake to one type of music only for the whole year. One genre of music you can listen to. Um, they want to they want to study its impact on you. So if you had to choose just one genre or type of music, what would you listen to? Well, you caught me. Uh not knowing so well at this starting point what Australian music or Aboriginal music would be the one, I would choose the classical music like Beethoven's violin concert. Yeah, it doesn't have to be of Australian origin, so you, it can be anything. So so Be you, you, you're going to listen to Beethoven all, for the whole year at the exclusion of everything else. I would not have any problem. <laughs> <laughs> To do that, that there be... are a lot of composition of, com uh, of works uh, yeah. I could listen to. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so you're you've been given a group of people to help you, and um, during the course of your study year, and they come to the office, and you you have a meeting, and and they want to take you to um, a dance performance for the first on the first evening of your study, some kind of dance. <laughs> show it can be any dancer living or dead this is a fantasy as you can imagine any dancer living or dead any dance group or any dance style so of, of those things which which would you which which of those would would you choose do you have some examples or should i just say because if anything it's dance, to me... any, anything dance related that that they can take you to a performance of yeah, I would love, I would love to connect to indigenous people around here. And if I would get an invitation to one of their feasts and uh, dancing performances, but not for tourists, just a celebration, something they have, I would love to join that. And I know uh, from my history of travels and seeing other cultures that I will just sit there and listen and be on be like on another planet. Wow, that sounds great. That's good. So I've waved my magic wand. That's what you get. Okay. Um, oh, perfect. And then your, your your hosts are going to take you out to dinner after the show. And you let's assume you're in Brisbane. Um you can choose any restaurant you like and any cuisine because Brisbane has it all. So what would your fav preferred cuisine, national cuisine be for, for dinner after the dance show? I would invite my 
hopefully indigenous new friends or to Wallowing. That's the Chill Cafe, a Bavarian restaurant of the highest quality, but nice and simple in Brisbane. So that's where I would be then kind of the host for them. Brilliant. I love that. Now, next day is sport day in Brisbane. And <laughs> they want to take you to a sporting event. Um, you can have any sport you like. It doesn't have to be an Australian sport necessarily. And they're going to take you to them. You can either participate or you can spectate. So what would what sport would you like to see? Oh, it would be in the Gabba Stadium, the um, uh, football, uh, a football match uh, um, with an um, uh, a team of uh, playing Australian rules, rules football, Australian football. That would uh, be my choice. Yes, that would be great. I I don't un I don't understand the rules. I love watching it, but I don't understand the rules. I'll have to. Oh yeah, but it can be captivating. It... Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. So that's great. So you've done that. Now, the next day is Visual Art Day, and there is a new. I want you to imagine there is a new art gallery in Brisbane. It's it's. It can do digital project projections, very high quality digital projections of, of the art, the artworks of any artist living or dead. And it presents them in the gallery in a kind of uh, pathway so that they are chronological. So you can walk through the, the artistic life of any visual artist. Who would you choose? Marc Chagall. Oh, I have a story about Marc Chagall. Um, when you said visual, yeah. well, I thought of different uh, very quickly, but if you ever have, have had the chance to see his windows, his church windows of mm. Marc Chagall, and when you said vision, coming light, coming from inside and outside, from both sides of the glass on the same picture, mm. and you can look it uh, up from so different angles and point of views, Marc Chagall, definitely. Absolutely. I love that. We'll have a separate conversation about, um, uh, I have a story about Mark Chagall. That's great. I love Good. that. I'm so Good. pleased that you, you chose that one. Excellent. Now to lighten the mood a bit, the next day they'd like to take you to a theatre and you can see any play or musical you like. So what would you choose? Or opera, if you wish. Uh, well, yeah. I would choose La Boheme as an opera. That's nice. And um, there, there was a musical of Bernstein out of the city or the city or something like that. That would be the musical, but it is it is La Boheme, yes. Okay, that's lovely. They're doing it at the Royal, at the, um, Royal Opera House again this spring um, and Tosca. So... That, that I'm hoping to get to those in London. Excellent. Okay. And what about uh, the next day is, is movie day. Um, and they're going to take you to a beautiful cinema, luxury cinema. They're going to um, be there with you. And they've asked you to suggest the movie and one that they might enjoy. So it's not necessarily your favourite movie. It's the movie you would want other people to watch and discover perhaps for the first time? Well, that would be a, pick, uh, a movie who, uh, uh, which uh, when, when it was uh, shown first, um, it was not so successful. It is uh, a good year. You happen to know that movie? I recognize the name. I don't know much about a it. A good year. It's about a broker, a London broker, a, uh, without scruples, so a, a hard guy. But his uncle lived in South France, had a chateau and a vineyard. Mm. And the uncle dies and he flies there and drives up there to get the heritage, to inherit it. And then the story starts. And it's not so much about the wine or, or the, the beautiful landscapes, but it is about coming back to the origins, finding out what you really are, what you were about to lose forever and you got back when your uncle died and you visited those landscapes, those spots of your childhood. 
Mm. So a chance, a second chance to be yourself in life. Mm. That's behind it. Russell Crowe, yeah? Okay, that sounds a good. good. Year. I often work late with a movie on, so that's on my list now. So good, that's great. You should, um, you should watch that. I will. Yes. Now, the next day, they've um, booked a table for you, uh, for you at a really lovely restaurant uh, for lunch. Um, and they've told you that you can invite anyone you like as your, your arts and culture hero, perhaps. Living or dead, you can have lunch with anybody in the arts and culture world, either alive, living today or, or not. So who would you want to spend a couple of hours with over a wonderful lunch with some great wine? You know the name of William Barton? Yeah. I know. It's the, maybe the most famous didgeridoo soloist, vocalist indigenous Australian. Wow. That would be the guy. Okay. I would choose to spend those hours you were talking about because he tries to link 60,000 years of culture with our modern Western culture. He has no boundaries in his thoughts and he's open in his feelings and welcoming everyone and everything as long as, is, as uh, it is good what you do. William Barton. He would, William Barton. Love it. That would be the guy. I would love to spend a couple of hours with him. Yes, that's great. You can have William Barton. <laughs> now, uh, uh, this has been fun. So you've reached the end of your your cultural immersion in, 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 in okay. <laughs> and Australia and the fantasy elements of it as well. Um, that was great. I've made a note of all of those. The, the summary will include it, which is great as well. Um, okay. And you get a note from the, the Family Foundation thanking you for... Um, for spending the year saying that they're looking forward to hearing your your views about what you found and um they've relinquished you of the of the limit of beethoven so for the first time for a year you can listen to something other than beethoven okay okay what would it be a composition of my father who was composer too beautiful what was his what was his name um, uh, Walter Michael Klepper. Walter Michael Klepper, okay. okay. Walter Michael Klepper, yeah. yes. And that, Ralph, is the end of your fantasy cultural year. I hope, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was it was fun, and sadly it's over. Yes, and, although um, somebody um, has... I did this I, with another member recently, and they said... Um, could you please set up a travel agency so that I can book this all because I want to do it? <laughs> yeah, no, I expect you to you to book it for me. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to do uh, one more bit of fun before we finish. Um, okay. It's the this or that game. And um, I'm going to give you two options. Uh, it's fast paced. Um, you just have to choose one or the other. Okay. Okay. Right. Are you ready? Let's go. Tea or coffee? Oh. <laughs> Has to be one or the other. T. T. Radio or television? Uh, radio. Car or motorcycle? Car. Comedy or horror? Comedy. Concert hall or sports stadium? Sorry to say, concert halls. <laughs> Cat or dog? Um, dog. Test the water or dive in at the deep end? Test. Orange juice, bits or no bits? Bits. Library or museum? That's a hard one. Library, I, th I think. Beethoven or Mozart? Uh, well, after one year, Beethoven, it would be Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> Shower or bath? Shower. Swimming or running? Swimming. Cooking or being cooked for? No, cooking. Uh, fiction or non-fiction? Uh, what? Uh, a movie or what? A novel, perhaps. A, a, a book. A novel or a or a, a, a non-fiction fiction book? 
Stories or guides, really? Uh, no, fiction, stories. <clears throat> um, shopping online or shopping in store? Store. Reggae or salsa? Uh, reggae. Indoors or outdoors? What? One or the other. Indoors or oh, outdoors? Oh, that's too difficult. Depending where I am, I would prefer indoor or outdoor. Here in <laughs> Australia, I would prefer outdoor. <laughs> okay. Sand or snow? Who choose, chooses these questions? Sand, I see. I think. Android or iPhone? Uh, iPhone, of course. Start immediately or wait until the last minute? Start immediately. Science or history? Science. New York or Los Angeles? Uh, New York, Manhattan. Um, plan it or wing it? Plan it. Toilet paper, over or under? Under what? <laughs> under, does it come out from the bottom or does it come over the top? Over the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Bedroom door, open or closed? Open. Red or white wine? Red. Batman or Superman? Super. Numbers or words? Words. Rare or well done? Well done. Mild or spicy? Spicy. And finally, see the future or change the past? Change the past. Mm. Ralph Klepper, thank you very much for doing that. That was your This or That game. Thank you so much. We, The feedback we get from this is that it's a lovely icebreaker. And for the, I've had the pleasure of meeting you on several occasions. But for those who haven't, this will be a nice introduction. So uh, thank um, you for, for having me, for taking me. It was very captivating, I must say. That's good. I hope that that's reduced your levels of stress after the move, I hope. <laughs> Definitely. It was better than Beethoven or a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Ralph, don't rush off. But uh, in the meantime, thank you again for being one of our full members and uh, for being such a good sport and doing this. I hope I can do more in future. Thanks, Ralph.